Hi everyone, so welcome to November Monthly Faves. We're finally in the final month of 2012. I'm really excited for 2013. I don't think the world's gonna end, but others do. So anyways, um, it is what it is. So that being said, if the world is gonna come to an end, I'm really going to try my best to enjoy my December. Scratch that, I'm going to enjoy my December. Anyways, 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream was in my favorites for products as it always is i swear by this stuff nothing really beats this stuff it is a very basic amazing tool to have in your eye care routine it means everything not just primer will make your makeup stand out amazing on your eyes at all like if i just do primer without this in my eyes i could see every eye bag and my makeup just doesn't look as nice as it could so I just pretty much will not do makeup without it anyways my other favorite face product was the Andalou Naturals daily defense um, facial lotion if you're a new subscriber of mine and you did not see my review of this I'll go ahead and link that in the bottom bar I love this stuff it's just a short sweet simple review um, this product is fantastic it is anti-aging and it has an SPF of 18 in it um, it is made from um, fruit stem cell science and it's really affordable. You can get it on whiterabbitbeauty.com, same place. You can go ahead and get this as well and I believe you can also get the Andalou Natural products on Vitacost and I'll go ahead and link Vitacost as well if you'd like to shop there instead. November 26th, they have a big tendency to be in the middle of things, selling things, changing things without really telling their customer and I understand it's typical professional procedure to not let people know what's going on until, you know, everything's signed, sealed, delivered, but it just feels very deceptive considering their core customer really cares about um, procedures leading up to, um, you know, the end result, the end product. Um, so, you know, the reason why I don't go on my channel to bash products that do test is because I'm not going to bash anybody for thinking differently than me whatsoever because we all have um, our own moral compass, what we find to be morally correct or incorrect, and we all have a different um, reason why we're here in life. But what gets me about Urban Decay is that they have had this core value, this, uh, you know, this stance against animal testing for as long as they have been around, but it's just been a slogan. It's not really been something that they truly, truly embodied in their products, but they've made it seem like it is. So, um, I'm not going to bash Urban Decay because, you know, I know some people, it's not you know, it's, it's it's not the reason they bought Urban Decay, but it does personally bother me that they tried to shift blame. And I also really found their, what they uploaded on their website as far as being a disclaimer or, you know, reasoning out of why they were choosing to test. You know, I understand money is what keeps companies going and that would have been like one thing, but I feel like they tried to you know, shield the issue. I just did not like what they wrote and I found it a little racist and that was another thing that really got to me. I tried to turn the other cheek when they went back on Leaping Bunny and gave him the benefit of the doubt. I felt if I was willing to be forgiving um, personally um, about the whole mess that it would send a message to other companies that said, hey, if you're willing to not test your products on animals, I'd be willing to be your customer. So I wanted to turn the other chicken, be forgiving, to sort of give that message out, um, regardless of any pessimistic feelings I had. So that's what I did. That's where I was coming from, just so my subscribers know, because I know I wasn't super vocal about why I decided to go back to using Urban Decay again. It had nothing to do with the fact that I already had their products. It had nothing to do with the fact that I personally wanted to use my products in my tutorials. It had everything to do with the fact that I thought maybe if I showed a little bit of forgiveness, they would not test. So 
um, that didn't work. They wanted to sell to L'Oreal so they could reach their biggest potential as far as making, making themselves a profitable company. I'm not going to stay on it. I'm not going to dwell on it. When I saw that they sold to L'Oreal, I didn't give it much more thought than I'm just never going to touch their products again because they simply um, care about money and that's it. And what can I say? They're a company. Of course they care about money. Anyways, there's a lot of other great brands out there that don't test on animals that I really, really enjoy. So I'm going to give my full attention to them because um, I'd rather give my attention to quality brands over quantity brands any days. And it doesn't do me any good to worry about things I can't change. Uh, Inglot was a huge monthly favorite of mine because, um, uh, why wouldn't it be? If you've ever tried their products, they're so pigmented, so amazing. Uh, as far as eyeshadows go, and I don't always show monthly favorite eyeshadows because I change my favorites so much, but I really enjoyed Inglot's number 403 so much. Um, it's a beautiful gold that works so well with so many other things. Uh, my 74, this very unique purple color I love. And as far as foundation goes, I have been enjoying my Inglot ASM AMC and enjoyed trying a brand new product um, that was very creamy. Um, but I wanted to go back to my YSM. So these foundations are my monthly favorites, this being the top, I have to say. I went to my nail salon recently and got my nails done. Sometimes they grow out on their own into a very oval shape, which I hate. So I try to get them to sort of... Um, put into more this shape by getting them professionally done because of all the drills and stuff they have it can kind of make them like this these are my nails um, but um, I've been into Zoya nail lacquers this is Lotus by Zoya which I'm currently wearing it's a really fun purple with a couple coats it's a pretty dark purple so it's appropriate for winter even though it looks pretty light in the bottle and um, also, I love the new Butter London Christmas collection. Most of them are glittery, um, but right now I am wearing Butter London's Shambolic on my toes and my nails. I do have an Instagram pic of my um, of some of the manicures and stuff I've gotten in the past. This is so amazing. Not really what I would consider a traditional traditional Christmas color, but the glitter reflects in here are so joyous um, that I feel like anything that kind of gives you joy and makes you smile is really sort of Christmas to you. Into accessories again, a while back I had a job that did not like me wearing fun colorful makeup, particularly lipsticks. This was a while back, back much further back. Like back when I started my channel, you'll see uh, like a, a huge growth in my appearance and some of my makeup and colors I used when I switched jobs a couple years ago um, and uh, you could see a lot of weight loss in my face and stuff like that um, because I was very miserable at that job and I ended up having like a very puffy face from malnutrition because I would just eat whatever I could eat and I looked terrible um, because I wasn't able to sit down and have an appropriate meal and take care of myself and my skin was all broken out it, I was very red around the eyes but anyways, that job did not like me wearing colorful makeup, and they did not like me wearing accessories. I forgot why I stopped wearing accessories, because it's been so long ago. I think I just filtered for my brain why I stopped wearing accessories, but they asked me not to. Most jobs in the customer service industry do say that wearing um, things on your head and your hair earrings do make people happier when they see bright, happy, cheerful things, just instantly a good mood booster, so I was like, Hmm. Anyways, um, the job I currently have, they asked us to make uh, recently, you know, the customers a little bit happier, do what we can, you know, be a brighter presence, if you will. So I was like, you know what? I busted out my accessories and my boss was instantaneously happy because <laughs> they just make everybody's day brighter to look at. So I've been get getting more into earrings again and stuff like that. Claire's has been a real obsession of mine this month. I wore this headband um, in a review a while back. Uh, I know it's a little summary, but I live in California, but um, I wore this one recently. You remember it maybe from the video I uploaded on Thanksgiving. Just little things to make people happy. These earrings are also from Claire's. You can get great accessories at Hot Topic. Even in my own personal like life when I'm not going to work, you know, I've been into wearing little things that just make me happy. Because I used to always love accessories. Like, accessories were my obsession over clothes. Because if you have very basic clothes, you don't have a lot of money, you can always dress up 
your wardrobe a little bit, make it a little bit more fun for you. Makeup has mainly been my accessory for years and years and years, um, especially now um, that I had eliminated accessories. But now I like to work them in and create sort of a little outfit um, centered around my makeup and my accessories. Now that I can wear accessories again, um, because I have a lot of basics because I don't get to wear my own clothing a lot and um, I could wear my own basics like I don't have to wear a certain set uniform at work but they have to be black basics so that way you can sort of you know dress it up and make it more fun for you yoga has also been a huge real big obsession of mine uh, lately and it just is so freeing mentally for you it lets you sort of put your thoughts into perspective um, Nothing in life has to be that hard. You should enjoy every second of your life because it can be taken away from you in any second. And that's reality. It's a sad reality, but it's a reality. That being said, you don't know how long you're going to live, so you need to enjoy every minute. And I think yoga really helps me sort of sort that out and not really worry about things I can't change or fix so much. Um, so I do recommend yoga for anybody. It's I am not super into the idea of Bikram yoga yet, although I do like some of the Bikram poses. The reason why I'm not into the Bikram yoga is because for me when I get stressed out it's really hard to have a healthy appetite and Bikram yoga is more of a weight loss uh, type of yoga and for me um, yoga, while it does increase my metabolism and make it easier for me to eat and enjoy food because I'm like, you know, exercising and stuff like that and I don't have to worry about migraines as much because I'm stretching and relaxing my body I forgot what I was saying anyways I don't need to cut my cut my my appetite so I'm not super into the idea of Bikram but um, I know a lot of people do swear by it so it is what it is but anyways I think any form of yoga is great for your mind body and your spirit so I've been super into that and I, I've been swearing by it just makes everything in life so much easier <laughs> so I think you know if you need it in your life it's great because it is worth waking up for if you really need it like if somebody told you you know you have to wake up at 6 a.m. today to do yoga after you get used to it after a while you're like yeah I'd, I'd do that for my life, I would wake up at 6 a.m. to meditate. I never thought I'd say that, but yes, I would easily. Like, I'd wake up at any hour because to me, like, just a, an hour of that is worth, you know, a couple hours of sleep lost. And plus, your day does get easier with a little bit of yoga in the morning because you have, if you wake up early to do it, you have so much of your day left, you don't have to try to squish it all together and cramp all your plans in one. You can get so much more done if you just go to bed a little earlier and wake up a little earlier. I'll stop rambling anyways, those were my favorites. And not a lot of makeup, but um, it's just been working on my life and things like that. And uh, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed and thank you for watching.